So you have a primary source, and now you need to write about it. You've been asked to answer questions like, why is the source significant? What is it trying to say? How does it relate to a bigger topic? Even experienced writers and researchers struggle with these questions. One reason for that is that every primary source is only one piece of a puzzle. Sometimes the puzzle is small, sometimes it's really large. And to make things even trickier, individual primary sources almost always fit into multiple puzzles. Here are a few basic tips to consider if you just can't figure out where that piece goes. First things first, know what the source is. This sounds obvious, but before going any further, make sure you understand simple facts about the source you are working with. Who created it? When? Where? Why or for whom? What kind of a document is it? Is there a clear perspective or bias? In short, what do you already know about the source? To go back to the puzzle metaphor, this stage of writing is kind of like when you sit down to work on a jigsaw puzzle and start looking through the box for corners, edges, or distinctive pieces that belong in an obvious place. Finding them first will make it easier to put the rest of the puzzle together. After you've done this, there are lots of directions you could go in, but here are some suggestions. Brainstorm. Find a blank sheet of paper. Write down any ideas that come to mind about why your primary source is significant. After 10 minutes or so, scratch out the worst ideas and try to develop the rest into something you can write about and back up with evidence. Understand the debate. Consult a variety of secondary sources. In other words, scholarly books and articles by people who have closely studied a topic related to your source. Summarize their interpretations as well as any different points of view or controversies. Does your primary source support or go against any of those interpretations or viewpoints? Does it add anything new? Bringing primary and secondary sources into conversation with each other like this will help you make basic facts more meaningful, a hallmark of good writing. Even if the sources disagree, that's okay. In fact, sources that disagree with each other can help you forward your argument and move beyond a simplistic interpretation to one that's more complex and interesting. If you're writing about a primary source as an assignment for a particular class, be sure you understand key themes from your course. How do those themes play out in this source? Does your source amplify any of the big ideas you've talked about in class or add nuance to them? Does it change your perspective on course content in a significant way? If yes, write about that. Still stuck? Consider comparing your primary source to another one on the same topic. What do the accounts have in common? How are they dissimilar? Were they written for different reasons or different audiences? Knowing the answers to these questions might give ideas for what to write about. A related tip is find additional primary sources. Quite often, one source just isn't enough for you to really understand what's going on. Think of it this way. If you're working on a puzzle with a lot of blue sky in it, and you find a solid blue piece in the box, are you going to know exactly where it fits? Probably not. Chances are you'll fill in the area around it first, and then at some point it'll be clear where that solid blue piece goes. The same idea applies to primary sources. Sometimes we can't fully understand one source until we understand others. Seek out a variety of primary source formats. Books, manuscripts, photographs, newspapers, magazines, maps, art, artifacts, music, oral histories, government documents, statistics, even the physical environment. There are lots of primary source formats, and those formats influence how a story is told. For you as a writer, they can often help you see things from a different angle. A government report, for example, would give an official perspective on a historical event. In an oral history, on the other hand, you'd likely find a more personal, direct account. For understanding how the same event was seen through the lens of popular culture, a work of art or music might be useful. Reframe the source. Remember, primary sources seldom fit into only one puzzle. If you're really having trouble writing about your source, it might help to look at it through a new frame. In the field of history, for example, gender, race, and class are common ways to approach a subject. 
Others include economics, politics, science, religion, health, the environment, and local history. Imagine giving your source to people in different departments on campus. Their academic backgrounds would probably influence what they consider interesting about the source, right? Well, pretending you work in a discipline outside your normal field of study might provide new insight into a primary source and give you the breakthrough you need. Last but not least, talk to others. Your professor, fellow students, a librarian, anyone you can throw ideas around with. Librarians especially are a great resource to turn to when a writing assignment leaves you feeling puzzled. They might not be an expert on your research topic, but they know a lot about the research and writing process and can work with you to get that puzzle piece in the right place. There are lots of other things you could try, but these basic tips will hopefully get you started. Good luck and be sure to reach out to the Research and Writing Studio if you need further assistance.